tip and push the issue, grab a tissue and wipe some knowledge off me. Soak it up and see I broke as fuck and turn these steady flossers. Like the nails that's in the coffin. Gotta keep your shit together. Roll with the punches and I promise you can do whatever. So lolly gagging, determination is what is needed. She probably gagging and checking dope for every time he's needed. Beep beep, I'm pulling up, checking dope once again. I need it. Say check that hoe on the strip. Nowadays they be deceiving. I'm trying to get even with the dealer that dealt me these cars. Cause it wasn't God, he the reason why I got this bar. So I stay scheming and being me to the best of me. I'm blessed to say that I was cooked with a real nigga recipe. Shit. The night gon' roll and the money gon' fold. I'ma post and get my dough by the stove. You too. You got another banger for y'all, man. Another banger. Most legendary mentor fights in anime. Ugly Reed here. We got Panther. We got Slime. Let's see with these faces. <laughs> bro, bro, one fight I am waiting to see is Reed Son whooping his ass. That's an anime fight right there. I just happy to slide. Oh, all right, I can see. He just got raided, bro. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> but you too. <laughs> We back at it, man. We ain't calling that now. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it to it. Uh... Damn, Not only are mentors in battle shown in anime cool, but they also tend to be memorable. Cycle, Besides the main characters yeah, and villains, these people tend to be the best or most love, prominent love, side characters, and they serve to guide the hero on his quest to what? become yeah. stronger. In a way, mm -mm. you can say they're the real MVP. So, Unfortunately, watching, being an anime um, mentor also comes with the well-known occupational That's hazard. Weird. But we're not That's here to see mentors that. dying, are we? We have a separate yeah, list for sad that. moments and all, but for today, we're here to bask in their glory, to see them at their peak, at their best. And what better way to show it in a battle show than to give focus to some of the best and most One memorable like battles about, featuring oh, them. Here, so strap bro. yourselves oh, in as we take a ride through some of my favorite mental battles in action shonen. We start things off with Benimaru versus Holy Soul. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This boy, bro. Yeah, he, got yeah, that, he got like that, that drippy, like sleepy face with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Benimaru and Cool Fights. It seems to go together. We already featured this awesome mentor before, so how about another fight? This time against Holy Soul's Shadows. Anyone up for a one man army fight? Because Benny Maru brings the heat when he single handedly takes down the Holy Soul Shadows in spectacular fashion. Even mm. when they try to yeah, mob he him, he simply them uses Bro, them as a showcase crazy, of power, yeah. blasting them multiple times over. Even when the shadows look like they landed a hit, it just became a scene to build up Benny Maru's spectacular finish. One of the nice Fire Force fights for us to remember, although calling it a fight would be a bit of a Stretch domination is His more like it. Was even sick. Oh, yeah, it's too. It's no cut. Up next well, is Goro Sensei versus <laughs> Yanagi Saba. Definition class. <laughs> I've talked long about Goro Sensei being one of the most overpowered characters in anime, but I haven't featured an assassination classroom fight at all, have I? Well, that's gonna change today. And we end this that with a banger of a fight. A climactic showdown between Goro Sensei and Yanagi Sava. It's pretty much all you want from a final fight in a series like Assassination Classroom. Yanagi Sama played the final boss role to perfection and gave Goro Sensei a run for his money. The fight's filled with revelations, intense attacks, and jaw dropping sequences. It also has its share of drama featuring Gaiano and even Reaper 2.0 upon his defeat. Truly an impressive, an awesome way to wrap up this anime that's given its fans some of their best years. We take to the Fate Universe for the next entry, oh, yeah. Chiron versus Achilles. Chiron vs Achilles is one of the more underlooked fights and I don't blame you. Fate Apocrypha is, in my eyes, the most niche anime of the Fate universe. It doesn't have the legacy of Stay Night Stay or Zero, up. nor does it have such a huge game and cinematic presence as Crazy. Grand Order. Yet, it keeps up the Fate tradition of having crisp, eye-catching fights, and this Chiron vs Achilles fight is the poster child for that. I talked about this fight in one of my best hand-to-hand -hand fight videos because it's just that good. It's a good old brawl where the anime team really went out of their way to capture the action and the barrage of attacks the two throw at each other. If you're looking yeah. for amazingly animated fights in fantasy action anime, then feel free to give this one a shot. 
All for One versus All Might is the definition of hype. One thing My Hero Academia does so well is build hype. It spends a lot of time building All Might as this unstoppable force of good, someone even the strongest villains tremble at the sight of. He easily wins all his fights and saves his students numerous times in impressive fashion, but every light has a shadow, an apt foil that serves to provide a balance in power. And that's why everyone was so excited to hear that All Might was finally going to fight his counterpart all for one. And the fight? delivered. There's just yeah, this yeah. magical feeling seeing the right two strongest too. forces oh, in My oh. Hero Academia duke it out for real. All for One versus All Might is a fight that left everyone, both in universe and out of universe, in awe. The United States of Smash moment here is still one of my favourite moments, even as more seasons have come and gone. Come on, Another good thing to note is that this is about... one status-altering fight muscles, for the whole bro. universe. Glad Different to see arms? All Might retiring oh, in God, style. I, I, and if seeing All Might's greatest moments got you all hyped, imagine how hyped I was when the channel hit a million subs. I'm, I'm here to just bro. take a moment to thank you for all the help in getting the channel to we reach that landmark. It area, really bro. means everything to me. Thank you. But let's not stop there, okay? Heck, if my newer videos continue Good to boy. give you fun times, then why don't you hit that like button, subscribe, and share the channel with your shonen loving friends. We've got loads of videos here, and I'd be more than happy to see the VinnyTube family grow. Hope you have a good time ahead with the rest of the list. Nothing's a better definition of constant improvement than Black That's Clover, all. and this fight embodies it. Oi. Oh my God, Yes, I'm talking about Asta and Yami versus Dante, one of the best fights Black Clover's given us. And it's fitting that it happens towards the end of the anime, saving the best for last, yeah, am I right? What I like about this fight isn't just the actual fighting. Yeah, the fighting's great, and I'm all for seeing more of Yami's dark magic, it's all shades of awesome. But what I feel is the most important element of this fight is how it proves Asta's development. You'd be hard pressed to find that little annoying kid from early to be this badass. Mm. And here he stands toe to toe, fighting alongside his captain against one of the most powerful enemies they've encountered so far. Arsted matured and badass at this point, and you bet it's a source of pride for Yami. His pupils all grown up and has become one of the most reliable allies he can ever ask for. Here's another amazing final fight with Gintoki versus Utsuro. What better way for Gintama the final to end with the Same grandest battle of them all. Okay. Gintoki finally okay, faces man. Utsuro in a spectacle that Gintama fans will forever remember. One underrated thing about this fight is the foreshadowing. Remember when this was teased all the way back with everyone thinking Takasugi is going to be the final villain? Just an added layer of bonus to what ends up being a really amazing fight. Gintama's no stranger to making the fans feel a roller coaster of emotions and this fight encapsulates that in a big way. I also love how the fight turns out to be quite methodical. Methodical. Instead of showering us with fireworks, there's the whole use of silence and flashbacks to build everything up as the two go at it. It truly adds to the moment, the solemn ambiance, and it gives each blow more gravity if you get what I'm saying. A great battle that serves as a great finale, one that amazes us while reminding us of the journey to get here. Gojo versus Jogo is next on the list. This one's a favourite, not specifically because of some mind-blowing fight choreography, but simply because of how much of a landmark moment it was. It's the first time we see Gojo flex his power over someone, and Mappa just had to put up some of their best work in the art department for this. Let's be real, this early in the show, it's never going to be some intense back and forth between the mentor character showing off his strength and a character who didn't seem like such a big threat. It's just Gojo showing how superior he is by using this as a tutorial level to his pupil. But boy, did he make a pretty show out of it. I'm not sure if I'd rank this above above hollow purple if we're talking about spectacular Gojo moments, but it's the one that gained more buzz from the community. And that's understandable, because the latter's the icing on top well, of the already well, amazing man. Hanami fight. He, he, what I like about him, he, he is like snow time, bro. Here's hands. another supernatural anime fight on the list, Tengen versus Gyutaro. This, this fight so many 
tough to lock this fight down with a start point to an end point. The climactic battle in Demon Slayer's entertainment district arcs pretty much a chain of fights with participants tagging in and out of action and, and being given their respective focus. That's also what makes its presentation so interesting and unique. The whole sequence has its fair share of epic moments, but I think that the Tengen parts are my favourite. The Nezuko parts are cool and all, but it's when Tengen takes the forefront do I feel the most excited. Every time we see a pillar in action, it's always cool, but Tengen takes it a step further with his blitzing style, yeah. combining speed with power in taking the fight to the Upper Moon duo. Danjiro joining the fight gives the battle a much welcome boost in height, being the first time our protagonist joins his mentor in a fight to this level. Finally, we have Gagashi Wait. versus here Obito. We go. Here, here we go. Yeah, there's the fight right here. Gagashi versus Obito, for the most part, seems to be a fight that gets hype based on the That's history. It's a long time coming between the two, and, and we know it's going to be big when we see the longtime friends turned enemies finally face off with one another. It's the Naruto versus Sasuke of another generation, and the anime made sure to hammer that point home. I mean, in some ways, uh, this one's even one better fight, than the bro. actual Naruto What's versus Sasuke uh, fight. It's about to. Bro, I had the fucking sword in his mouth. What's his name? Fuck. Sword in his mouth? You talk about, uh, yeah. you talk about uh, Zabu? Zabu, 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 yeah. Zabu. That fight was fucking crazy, bro. He had that sword in his mouth, both his arms was broke. Are you talking about, about, the, about the, at the end where he went towards the people? Yeah, he had the sword about. in his mouth. Yeah, he was mm. fucking them up, bro. Yeah, bro, that means, bro, shit. Get the demon out of my fucking <laughs> That's all about blazing speed combined with trademark Naruto magic system. I also like how physical combat comes into play as the two blitz each other. There are some rather funny comments that claim that this is the I most the actual ninja-like fight in the series. But hey, can we disagree with that? Just look at these two go. It's a fight that has a good story, great gravity, and huge stakes, all done in a package that while doesn't match the special effects extravaganza modern fights have, still gave us a good moment to remember. And that wraps up today's list. Mentor say... fights are the coolest, aren't they? I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope to see you again in the next video, which is scheduled to come out in just a few days' time. Make sure to bring your friends along for the ride, too. I will say, after that Kakashi and uh, Buto fight, my other one is when um, Obito, when he saw uh, Kakashi go through rain, bro. He raged. Mm. Oh, and he fucking obliterated it. He lost it. Yeah, he lost it. He lost, he lost it. it. Shit. Went nuts. That's another one that I like from that. Uh, another one that I like is just Madara taking on the whole army. <laughs> well, that mm. one was going in. And, like, I love how, like, the different, where it shows, like, the difference of, like, over the years. Not only had, like, Infinite Chakra and shit, too, we was fighting them, but how, like, it took one, like, what seven people the water the raw mm -hmm. the yeah like you could see like the skill gap bro it was crazy one person would fire fucking wide and then it took like eight motherfuckers to just to counter that and yeah. he said nah you know they're staying they're still fireballs coming in bro that yeah, boy is going in it's crazy and it's just like that death though of him was fucking retarded i don't care it was stupid it yeah, his. I understand they had I no way to kill him, but that's the only way they could have been. They, they honestly had no way to kill him. They made a, a character that was too badass. <laughs> uh, Actually, that fight with him and Guy was amazing, too. Yeah. Not Guy! Uh, <laughs> He's been in space? I don't remember that clearly. If I'm being honest, I feel like Guy could have really won that fight because he was giving him the business. It worked. Yeah. Guy was a fucking beast, bro. Yeah. Beast. He was a beast. Like a motherfucker. Yeah, it was it was good. I'm glad they threw in that Kakashi um Obito because I'm like, uh you guys have to it's one of the best hand of hands. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way. But yeah, I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the uh, video. Yeah. YouTube. We about this thing, man. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And have a good day, night, morning, wherever you are in the world, man. We out.